Good morning, everybody. It is Labor Day weekend. And I'm in the Shenandoah National Park. I'm gonna hike some of the high points of the park today. We're uh, on the climb up to Hawksbill Peak, which is the highest point in the park. Catch my breath here for a second. It's a beautiful morning. I think it was 52 degrees at the car when I got out, which is nice. Not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely beautiful. Things are going well. It's been a busy summer. Haven't gotten to hike or backpack very much. As you can tell from my breathing, I'm out of shape. Um, I do try to walk several times a week, but I'm a, it's flat land. I think the elevation change on my course is 150 feet. <laughs> We're gonna do 600 on this first climb, I believe. So, let me turn around and give you some of the views of the trail. So this is a Blue Blaze Trail. It does not intersect with the Appalachian Trail. Ah, somebody left their trash in the middle of the trail. That's fantastic. Field of ferns. Yeah, it's super nice out today. Good to be back out hiking. I'm looking forward to getting my stuff out on the trail this fall as temperatures cool down, get some backpacking in. So I miss it. Um, as you remember from one of my videos, my son and I set out to do, um, we we're gonna do the whole Shenandoah National Park um, in two different, uh, two different sections basically because he had a commitment he had to come home for excuse me over the weekend well day one was eight miles no water day two was 12 miles no water and we pulled the plug on day two as you remember um it was hot even on top of the mountains we hadn't had much rain there was almost no water it was pretty miserable We've ended up with, I think, eight and a half inches of rain for the month of August. So that's pretty good. Not very dry at all. All right. I'm going to get back to hiking here. We'll have some cool views at the top for sure. And I'll bring you along for those. Sunshine through the trees. Just an absolutely beautiful morning to be out. I don't know if we'll see any bears or anything like that. There's a group of people behind me, a few in front of me. So we'll see. It's just good to be out hiking. Beautiful day. All right, I'll get back to you shortly. past these two young people younger than me a lot younger than me wearing masks hiking come on man Oop, stranger danger Bird's nest number two. There's no camping up here, but it is an old shelter. I'll show you the inside here shortly.
so that was Hawksbill Peak or Summit. 360 degree views. Beautiful. All right, okay. so on the way back down, uh, next stop is going to be Stony Man. And that's down around the uh, Skyland area. And that's the second highest point in the park or peak in the park. There's a lot of people out today. It's hard to video because people are everywhere already. Some of the parking lots coming up were pretty full. And that was early. So here's more people. All right, I'll get back. It amazes me the people that just dropped their trash. There's tissues, toilet paper, wash rag. What the heck? Without a pair of gloves, I'm not picking any of that up. So we see a bear, but no such luck yet. So hike down was quick. Almost back to the parking lot. Good trail. I was almost running coming down the trail, coming back. And it feels good to be out here. Old dead tree. I'll show you this thing. Alright, almost back to the car. Five mile drive down to Skyland. And we'll hike Stony Man. Trail number two, Stony Man. Parking lot's almost full. There's only a couple spots left. Everybody's out today. At the other place, I talked to people that were from DC, Philadelphia, all over the place. All right, there's people behind me, people in front of me. Let me get off here, I'll try to show you some views. Or the trail, rather. So we get to the top. Okay, so the thing about this trail, this was the first trail I hiked after my open heart surgery in 2014. In fact, I don't believe I was even cleared to drive yet. Man, people everywhere. Anyway, um, memory serves my good friend Jerome drove me and the boys up here and uh, I wanted to know that my new heart valve was good so we hiked Snowy Man I'm slow probably painfully slow for now but I did it so from then on I was good to go all right, this one's another steady uphill. Good trail though. They're pretty well maintained over here in the park. I look over here at this tree. Toilet paper, SMH. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Well, I will tell you that growing up, my parents took us camping, 
stuff like that. And we would always, they would take us trout fishing up in the national forest. And we were never allowed to throw anything on the ground or out the window or anything like that. So those lessons stuck. I don't litter. And I can't stand people to do. I think I saw a sign back there a ways that said ATD tour. And there was a rope across the trail. I think this is the detour. Because it's a white and blue blaze. And those just don't usually happen here in the park. It's either white for the AT, blue for a side trail, or yellow for horses. Okay. Back with you in a minute. All right, peak number two, done. There's so many people out there that there's a line to get out on the rocks to the overlock. Crazy, but still a nice day. All right, quick change of plans. Um, the parking lot at Mary's Rock panorama area was packed. There was nowhere there to even park. Um, I mean, it was a challenge just to find a place to stow the vehicle for a minute so that you could run into the restroom. So uh, people were out there in droves, man, just park, you know, getting out of their cars, heading to the mountain. And uh, it was crazy. So I decided to forego that action. So I stopped here at the Elk Wallet Wayside. I'm gonna eat my lunch here and then uh, continue back up the park and I may see if there's another trailhead that's possibly not busy and uh, grab some lunch there. So I'm gonna eat my peanut butter and jelly tortilla, cheese nips, and my diet Dr. Wham. All right, back with the show.